Hey friends, tonight we are attending the Disney After Hours at Magic Kingdom, but before it's time to check in for that, we are actually going to do the Tomorrowland Terrace Dessert Party. I'm so excited. Let's go do this. It's time for the dessert party. Yes. Party because this one does have an alcohol. Alcohol! Yay. <laughs> I've never done a dessert party at Magic Kingdom, so when I found out that they actually have beer and wine, I was like, this is worth it to me. This is gonna be great. Take a look at all the desserts Mickey's Cookie and Cream Push Pop, and then we have some cookie dough, some cheesecake brownie bites. Oh, berry layer cake, that looks really good. Some cupcakes, pineapple delight, chocolate covered strawberries, plus an assortment of cheese and fruit. Wow. And for drinks, you can choose from sparkling Moscato, or you can get some white wine, red wine, and beer. They have Bud Light or Blue Moon. That's pretty good. I like the choices. They serve the Bud Lights in these fancy glasses. Look at that. I feel fancy. They also have house-made cheeseburger egg rolls and also some bread with some spinach dip and secret sauce. And we got ourselves a pretty great seat, actually. All the way over here, because one thing I noticed, if you sit too far back, the kind of ceiling blocks it but we are actually right on the outskirts, so we have no obstruction of a view. They also have much other drink options other than just the alcohol and the beer and the wine, and some of them look really cool too. Get some milk, some passion orange guava juice, some strawberry lemonade, regular lemonade, and then water. But there's a Mickey in that water. And of course, hot tea, coffee, and hot cocoa especially for those really chilly nights here in Florida. The ice cream station has build your own cupcakes and, oh yes, ooey gooey toffee cake. Oh wow. There it is. That's the good stuff. I need to load up my plate. I already got my ooey gooey. I think that was the first thing. But now I wanna get a couple more of those fancy little desserts. I'll take a Mickey's Cookies and Cream Push Pop, followed up by the Berry Layer Cake, bada boom, oh, and I gotta get a cupcake, only because they got the confetti batter, I like that. And this is our view here, and yes, I am double fisting it with the Bud Lights, but take a look at that. The perfect view. There's nothing above us. Maybe that over there, but I think that's a great shot. I think we have a, a really good spot here. I have to say, out of all the desserts, my favorite dessert is the Mickey push up pop. I really like this. Cheers! But it is. One thing that's very important to point out look at the back of the chocolate covered strawberries. They say, happily ever after how cool is that and happily ever after should begin in just a couple minutes and this place is full i like it a lot here so there were actually three different types of dessert parties here at the magic kingdom and it's all around the same area right now we are at the terrace one and that's 99 dollars, and that's the one that includes the alcohol and then you get these nice little tables with a nice view but there's also the garden view one which uh you actually go to the upper level i don't think that has alcohol and that one's 89 dollars. and then you go out to the garden and actually watch the fireworks and then they have a happily ever after after party so once the fireworks are over you come back
Holy! <laughs> that was pretty phenomenal. I really love this experience actually. How do I top this? Like, this is the start of the video. We still have after hours to do. Like, what is happening? Holy moly. <laughs> and even after Happily Ever After ends, you still can get a lot of your favorite snacks or your drinks. The only thing they stop serving is the alcohol exactly at nine o'clock so once the fireworks start no more alcohol so now we are gonna wait and actually 10 o'clock i think the after hours begins the park is gonna shut down and then uh we're gonna have the park pretty much at low capacity only people that bought the special ticketed event will actually be able to ride the rides and you're gonna get free popcorn free mickey bars free soda I'm pretty excited. And as you're leaving the dessert party, they give you a handful of Ghirardelli. I like it. Since we are already in the park, we're actually gonna go check in over by Buzz Lightyear because they have like their separate check-in area, kind of like how the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party is. Right here is where you get your wristband. I just realized we're gonna have two wristbands in one night. This is for the dessert party. And then we're going to get our wristband for the actual after hours. Yeah, we got it. Be on your right wrist. Same one? Yes. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Yes. Is it too tight? Is it good? That's good. All right. Awesome. Thank you. We have approximately 13 minutes until the official after hours begins. So we're going to start off by doing the teacups because there's no wait for them. And it'll give us some time before we can actually hop in line for any of the after hours attractions. Oh boy, panic. We gotta find a teacup. Ah! No! Ah! Ah! This the one! Just a light spin, that's all. Just a light one. We don't wanna get all crazy. Oh boy! <laughs> I want to see the little guy stick his head out of the teapot. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Oh, let me get his face. So the teacups actually didn't waste any time because now we have five minutes until the after hours begins. So why not do Winnie the Pooh? Because Winnie the Pooh has no weight either. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh! Just wait and treat it. This is your best week. This is my favorite scene in this whole entire ride. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 
Okay, now that we're off of Winnie the Pooh, it is officially after hours, and I think the biggest question is, is what is the wait time for Seven Doors Mine Train? It says 25 minutes, and that's officially when after hours started, which was three minutes ago, but I think it might be a little bit longer, so we're gonna come back and let more of the day guests actually leave and see what it'll drop down to. It's very important when you do the after hours to give a little bit of time after the after hours officially starts for most of the guests to leave or you're going to be waiting in a long line. Like I said, uh, Seven Doors Mine Train said 25 minutes, but it's probably more like 40 minutes because the queue was probably full of a bunch of guests that were trying to get in there before 10 o'clock. So give it about 45, maybe an hour, and it'll definitely go down a lot more. A lot of the smaller attractions have literally no wait, nothing. Look at this, crazy, huh? You just kind of walk right in there. Oh, thank you. Oh man, I think we have our own elevator. Nope, you guys are with us, come on in. Hey, hey, there we are. We're going all the way up. <laughs> We are on top of the platform for Astro Orbiter. As you can see, the crowds are really thinning out down there. And look at that beautiful castle. Oh, now this is the view I've been looking for. Oh yeah, look at that. Unbelievable. One. The music is amazing. I'm going up more. Here we go. The is now beginning its descent. Oh no. Remain seated until the ship's Oh, That was a little rough, but take a look at Space Mountain behind me. How beautiful is that view? First snack stop of the night. Should we get popcorn? Should we get a Mickey bar? Definitely gonna get ourselves a soda, Diet Coke, Sprite, Coca-Cola, bottled water. Look at all that popcorn goodness right there. So delicious. Oh. Can I have a Mickey Premium Bar? A Diet Coke? Yes. A water? Yes. I don't know how I'm gonna hold this, but I'm gonna make it happen. Champion, thank you. <laughs> This is going to be a little difficult because I'm holding a bottle of water, a uh, Diet Coke, and a Mickey Premium Bar, but I'm going to try to eat my Mickey Premium Bar, so I'm going to go for it right now. And in true fashion, we always bite the ears first. Ears first. I'm kind of sad though. It seems like the people mover is not running tonight. It's just kind of hanging out up there. Hello, people mover. Space Mountain has a no wait posted because it is currently down. Yep. Can't go in there now. Since Space Mountain is down, we want to move along. We don't want to waste any time. Like, if you waste like five or ten minutes, that's basically one ride. Like, literally one ride. That could be Seven Doors Mine Train, Big Thunder Mountain. So it's very important that you take advantage of this time when you're doing the after hours. If you look at the teacups, there's only three people in there riding right now. 
How crazy is that? Seven Doors Mine Train still a little bit busy, saying 15 minutes, and they're going right in the Fast Pass queue, but I think we can get it where we don't have to wait at all. So we're gonna wait it out. And with our progress, we're gonna move over to the Haunted Mansion, see what the wait time is for that. I'm excited because I also wanna see if this is the perfect time to ask to get a tour of the servant quarters, because usually they do that when it's slow, but you know, it's very hard to catch the Haunted Mansion slow. Friends. 10 minute waits. Hello. Hello friends, enjoy a tour of the mansion. Look at that. Beautiful mansion. Oh yeah, we just walked right in. That's really cool. Oh. Okay, some ghosts on this camera. I'm gonna try. <laughs> 999 of them. <laughs> Look at that caretaker right there. He is in. Wow. Find a way out. <laughs> There's always my way. Oh, look at this. This is how I like the Haunted Mansion. All right. Onward. Thank you. No time. always gets me in a spooky mood. Yes. I love it in here. Isn't it so cool? All the keys to the Haunted Mansion. It's making some creepy noises. And the bells. That was super cool. They let us in the servants' quarters. And that's a cool little thing just to check out. I mean, it's nothing like spectacular, but if you're a big Haunted Mansion fan, it's definitely something you want to do. And uh, on nights like this, it's a perfect opportunity to ask because a lot of the cast members are just hanging out. I wanted to get another snack, but I don't know if I want to get popcorn or if I want to get an ice cream sandwich. This is very tough decisions. I don't know what to do because I can't carry them both. Oh man, what will I get? And I went with the ice cream sandwich. Look at that. Oh, I love them. Ears first, always. Take a look at Adventureland. Holy moly. There is nobody here. This is what I love about after hours. Honestly, I could literally just walk around the parks like this and it'd be like the highlight of my night. Oh, you can hear the music. There might not be anybody in Adventureland, but the camel is still spitting water. Made our way over to Frontierland and look at that. There is literally logs just coming down with nobody on them. It's like nobody wants to get wet tonight. Look at, there's another one. Holy moly. Well, I guess it's time we go on the wildest ride in the wilderness. Wait time was posted 15 minutes, but we're just walking straight on. 
don't even know why they put 15 minutes if there's no wait. I'm pretty sure when we get up here, we're gonna go right downstairs, so that's awesome. Yep, look at this. Nobody in line. We just go right down and in. Folks are wearing hats. Look at oh, that is awesome. This is the wildest ride in the wilderness. Thank you. <laughs> So for a time check, what we've gotten done in just an hour, a little bit over an hour, we have done Astro Orbiter, Teacups, Winnie the Pooh, Haunted Mansion, Big Thunder Mountain, and now we're heading to Pirates of the Caribbean. That's pretty successful. We're not running, just kind of leisurely strolling. <sighs> Ooh, five minute wait, or a no minute wait. Look, you're going straight through. We don't even have to go crisscross or up and down. I like it. Never really took the time to appreciate the queue in here. But wow, I like it. This is supposed to be like the bow of a ship. Best of luck to you. I can never get this lady to say hi to me. Just give me a wave. Oh, she waved, hi. hi. <laughs> And what better way to celebrate a successful ride on Pirates of the Caribbean with some popcorn and some coke. Popcorn and some pop. And some pop. Uh, coke. coke. Diet Coke. Diet Coke? Yes, I'm watching my figure. Can we do it like this? You got this. What a champ. We made our way back out to the central hub. And look at this. Nice and empty the way I like it can hear the music. Oh, what a perfect spot. And I suppose we might as well go check on Space Mountain and hit up Tomorrowland. Wow, I'm just loving it here tonight. I really am. Um, we did decide to check on Space Mountain. It did open back up and the line is coming all the way out. 30 minute wait. That's because it's the first time it's been open in the past hour and a half for all of the after hours event. So a lot of people are flocking over here. Might not want to ride that right now. Normally during an after hours event, I would never really see uh, Space Mountain at 30 minute wait. But like I said, because it just reopened for the first time, a lot of people want to check that off their bucket list. So it's maybe open up things for other attractions i don't know we'll see well before it said 25 minutes now it says 20 minutes but there's no line on the outside huh okay about 10 minute wait that's what i would say we waited oh. so excited
can hear her laughing. Oh, there she is! Like I said, the wait time was posted at 20 minutes, but it was really about 10 minutes. So that's really awesome for Seven Doors Mine Train. Now we're gonna see about Peter Pan. And it is a zero minute wait. Nice. Hi. Oh, I like it. Why, thank you very much. <laughs> we can literally just go right around and right again if we wanted to. Huh. And with that, I think I am done for tonight. Such an epic, amazing night. And I feel like we got a lot accomplished for the uh, after hours event. I would say 85% of the park, no rush, casual pace, totally worth it. So I hope you guys had fun and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.